building represents probably the best in engineering design um, that you can curr currently achieve, both in terms of environmental efficiency but also design performance. We were looking to try and embody and capture some of the founding principles of the cooperative movement, uh, ones of equality, openness, honesty and everybody working together collectively. It's that power of the collective that we're really interested in capturing within the building. It's going to be a landmark in Manchester, particularly when all the other buildings are completed around it. I think that'll complement it. Steel allowed us to look at quite an honest form of structural representation and what I mean by that is that the building, if you look at it very simply, tells a very clear story about how the building goes together. You can see the beams, you can see the columns, you can see the roof trusses spanning across. So from a structural and an educational point of view, it's actually a very honest form of expression which goes to the very heart of the open and honesty within the cooperative's values. We deliberately pushed the base, sorry, the southern edge of the building down uh, so that we could maximise the amount of daylight and sunlight coming into the building. What that does is it gives the workers within the building an opportunity to look up from their desks and look out for a break or some visual comfort across the city or across the Pennines or across the Peak District. Um, because sustainability isn't just about energy efficiency, it's about health and well-being of the staff as well. So the views out and the connectivity to the landscape is really important. One of the core um, design drivers was to come for a very passive environmental strategy. That minimises the use of uh, energy in terms of heating and cooling the building. Uh, so working with our own internal environmental engineers, we came up with the strategy to use thermal mass. That's basically exposing the concrete uh, rather than a, a suspended ceiling system. And the, the concrete acts as a heat sink. So in the hot weather, um, it's able to absorb some of that energy uh, and then also in the cool weather it's able to release some of that energy to, to moderate the temperature within the floor plates. What was the most environmentally friendly way of doing the building and what material would be, uh, give the best result for the external facade. That's why we chose steel uh, on the building. We actually situated all the subcontractors in the same area on the site so their offices were all based together so they could all talk together and communicate together and we found that was a real big help and everyone got on well. I think that's the main thing on the project. As long as everyone gets on well, the building does tend to go up a lot smoother. My highlight is the atrium roof where I think we've created some real wow as you enter the building, not only for staff uh, but for visitors as well. Every time I walk into this building, particularly the atrium space, you get a real buzz and a real sense of enthusiasm about it. And you don't get that with many projects. And this, this project is pretty unique in that sense. It's been an amazing building to work on. I personally have worked on it since, since scratch, since the first day one. It's been an amazing experience and I think they're getting an amazing product and I'm really proud to be working on it. Yeah.